Hello everyone, welcome to BASP Solution. My name is Shubham Temre. In today's session, we will see Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management, overview of Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management Inventory Organization. Now, so far we completed all common configuration for the supply chain management application. That's mean for implementing any application in Oracle Fusion, we require all the common setups. Application may be finance related, supply chain management related, human capital management related. So we require all the basic setups. So all the common configuration setup we already seen in our earlier session like user creation, enterprise structure and uh, geographies, charts of accounts, accounting calendars, currencies, legal entity, business units, primary ledger. We already seen all of this. Now, after completing uh, all these co common setups, we will work on our supply chain management inventory applications. So, okay. Okay, so inventory. So, in so the most common definition for inventory is inventory refers to all the items, goods, merchandise and material held by a business for selling in the market and to earn a profit. Now, for example, for, for example, if a newspaper vendor uses a vehicle to deliver newspaper to customer, only the newspaper will be considered as an inventory and the vehicle is considered as an asset. So the definition of the inventory changes or we can say that the de definition of inventory may vary, uh, may vary depending upon the industry type. Now, in case of manufacturing business, inventory is not only the final product manufacturer or the sale item, but the inventory is in form of all the raw materials used in the production or uh, also in the inventory is in form of semi-finished goods, finished goods, or, or we can say that the uh, in form of shop floor items in any industry. Uh, now, in manufacturing industry, let's take an example of cookie manufacturing company. So in cookie manufacturing company, so in cookie manufacturing company, inventory will include packet of cookies that are ready to sell and ready to sell inventory also included semi finished stock of cookies uh, that had not have been cooked or packed yet. And inventory is also consist cookies set aside for quality checking. Uh, we can say inventory is present in form of raw material for cookies like milk, sugar, flavor. So this is all about the inventory. Now next is the so types of inventory. So in inventory, uh, raw material, working progress, finished goods, MRO inventory, buffer inventory, cycle inventory, decoupling inventory and transit inventory are the types of our inventory. So first one is the raw material. So raw material is consists of all the items that are processed to make the final product. In, for example, we consider a cookie manufacturing company. The raw materials in cookie manufacturing company, uh, the items like uh, milk, sugar and the flavor that are used in different stages of production. So when we talk about our raw material, it is essential to understand that raw material used by a manufacturing company can either be a source from a supplier or be a byproduct by of a process. In our cookie manufacturing company, the raw materials will be mostly sourced from various suppliers or we can say that the many suppliers. Now the concept of the raw material as the inventory item exists only in the manufacturing industry. In case of trading industry, there is no processing or manufacturing involved. So there are no raw material. Second is work in progress inventory. So when raw material have been sent for process, but uh, have not yet been approved as finished good, this stage is known as a work in progress. So for example, in a cookie manufacturing company, after the raw material have been processed and the cookies have been molded, they go for a quality check and uh, before they are passed for final packaging, all the cookies which are waiting for their quality check are considered as work in progress. To, uh, or we can say that in simple words, the work progress category co consists of all items that 
that have been processed but not for be sale is known as the work in progress next is our finished goods so finished goods are the final items that are ready for sale in the market okay the these goods have been passed through all stages of productions or quality checking so for the cookie manufacture uh, so for the cookie manufacture the final packets of the cookies that are sent to the market for selling uh, after undergoing quality checks will be called as the our finished goods next is our mro inventory so mro is nothing but uh, maintenance repairing and operating supplies okay so this type of inventory is mostly relevant to manufacturing industries mro items are not accounted as inventory items in books of accounts however they play a crucial role in cru crucial role in day to day day to day working of an organization mro supplies are used for maintenance repair and uh, upkeep of the machines tools and other equipment used in the production process sub example of mro items are lubricants coolants uniforms and gloves nut and bolts screws so all the, about the mro inventory next is the buffer inventory so in a manufacturing or a trading business fluctuation and market movements cannot always be predicted such changes can have a negative impact on the sales of production and processes which can lead out of stock situation so buffer inventory that time buffer inventory is required so buffer inventory is consist of the items that is stored in the warehouse of a uh, of a store or factory to uh, to impact the unexpected shocks okay so a uh, sudden changes a sudden spike in demand delay in transport or we can say that the labor strike can be managed in sufficient buffer inventory while we maintain our buffer inventory so this is all of our buffer inventory next is our cycle count cycle inventory sorry so cycle inventory is the term used to describe the items that are ordered in lot size on a regular basis okay so cycle inventories are usually materials which are directly used in the production or they part of some regular process or we can say that the, they are performing on the uh, cyclic basis next is our decoupling inventory so most manufacturing is carried by multiple machines the output of one machine is fed into next machine for further processing however the process only works smoothly if all the mach machine work in tandem manner a breakdown in any of the machine can derail the entire process which is when the decoupling inventory comes into the picture decoupling decoupling inventory consists of items which are kept in res reserve to be processed by another machine if the previous machine failed to produce its usual output in our example of like cookie manufacturing company after the dough is been molded and it goes to the oven for baking to prevent a breakdown in one of in one of the molding molding machines can be delaying the baking process so for that the manufacturing might keep some extra pieces of molded dough which can be sent to the oven for baking while the machine is being repaired so this this type of example is considered in decoupling inventory and the last is transit inventory so transit inventory is nothing but uh, it refers to items that are being moved from one location to other location such as raw material being transported from one location to other location or factory by rail by railway or finished goods been transported to the store by truck so this uh, transit inventory is nothing but the transportation of our material or item now next next this is our inventory organization okay so inventory organization is same as that of inventory primarily we have inventory organization to maintain the stock so inventory organization represent distinct entities in your enterprise okay the so first one is our physical entity a physical entity such as manufacturing facilities companies distribution centers warehouses and second one is our logical entity in logical entity we have our item master organization in our upcoming session we will see 
why we required item master organization in our inventory application okay oh, okay now next is the an inventory application an inventory organization is a facility where you store and transact the your items okay so so before you can use oracle fusion inventory management application you must define one or more sub invent more inventory organization sorry you can you have to define one or one or more inventory organization and an inventory organization can ho can have its own locations ledger costing methods work desk calendars and items okay so after completing all our inventory organization we have to define our this our sub inventory so this is all about the inventory organization next is inventory organization structure so inventory organization structure consists of inventory organization sub inventories locators rows racks bin we already seen what is inventory organization and what kind of task performed in inventory organization types of inventory okay so next is our sub inventory so sub inventory what is sub inventory so sub inventory are uniquely physical or logical separation of material okay so for example raw material sub inventory we have finished goods sub inventory quality sub inventory defective goods sub inventory we have to define at least one sub inventory for every organization it is because we do, we do not keep our material in inventory organization we keep our material in at the sub inventory level okay so this is all about sub inventory we have to define our material item stock all this we define in our sub inventory level we can't define our stock material items at inventory organization that's why we require sub inventory now next is the locator so locator are the third level structure within the within the inventory organization so sub inventories may be made up of one or more locators sub inventories may be made up of one or more locators one or more locators so basically locator is the place place where we kept our item we kept our item at the locator locator in form of rows racks bin in inventory organization where in inventory organization or uh, we can say that the our warehouse you can track any item uh, you can track any item or material in our application with the help of locator okay so in a, so uh, in any sub inventory for segregation of our item or material we have to create rows racks bin within the locator so in at the sub inventory we create multiple rows in a, with the help of rows we are separating our sub inventory in inventory organization now within the rows you can create the racks also this is our racks you can create the racks also the rows are whatever you create in sub inventory whatever you item create or material whatever transaction you perform at your sub inventory further you can partition into different racks also now within the rows we have racks now within the racks you you can create bin also it is totally depending on your organization or your company structure uh, you can create rows racks many rows racks bin as per your requirement okay so with the help of rows racks bin we can easily find our material stock or item related stock in our sub in our in our sub inventory or inventory organization next so integration of inventory with other application so in inventory organization uh, it is integrated with many application our, in, our inventory organization is integrated with multiple applications applications like manufacturing applications logistic applications warehouse management system related applications order management related application oracle purchasing related application maintenance application so with the help of these applications we can perform task related to inventory organization so in our upcoming sessions we will see how to this application are connected with the our 
inventory organization and how it works how it uh, works how it connected with manufacturing application how our inventory is connected with warehouse management system how our inventory is connected with um, logistics or we can say that the procurement application order management related application okay so this is all about overview of inventory organization thank you for watching the video thank you so much